What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to the Beast Classes, the weekly series here on my channel where I bring you guys the class that I've been using for the past week and have been having a killer time with and hopefully I can bring that to you guys. So today we're going to be going over an AK-12 class setup. Now to be completely honest with you guys, I had no idea the AK-12 was this good. I didn't use it at all. This was a gun that I just picked up within the past week. So it's relatively new to me, but I've used it so much that I feel like it's my gun and this is something that I'm actually really excited to bring to you guys because it is such a great weapon and this class has worked wonders for me so far. This weapon is actually in my opinion super OP but it's awesome because if you know how to use it well you're going to be able to get the most out of it. And I'm expecting a patch for this in which it nerfs it a little bit later to come in the future. But as of now, I say to take advantage of it while you can. Now, as for the actual class setup, I'm going to be putting it on screen for you guys here now. And we're going to go over a little bit in depth on each piece. Firstly, we got the center point of the class, the AK-12. And I always put a suppressor and foregrip on this. And the reason that I do is suppressor allows you to go around silently, a little bit of a stealthy attitude. And foregrip, it gives you so much more control over the little recoil on this gun already and the greatest part about this gun with all this is it's got a high accuracy with medium to high damage it's got a large range and the silencer honestly only decreases the range just a tad not too much to really be noticeable and the mobility is super high and whenever I add these perks on that I'm going to be the mobility is even higher so since that was a perfect segue into the perks I use ready up which allows you to bring your weapon up quicker after sprinting sleight of hand which is faster reloading stalker which allows you to move faster while aiming Takedown, which allows you to kill enemies without revealing their death locations. Scavenger, to resupply ammo from dead players. Resilience, to take no fall damage. And all these work out really well for me. They give a nice package to what I'm looking for in a semi-conservative rushing playstyle. Killstreaks, you can use whatever you want. I personally use support streaks so they last longer and I don't have to restart after every death. But I'm running a Satcom, Ammo Crate, and Oracle. Oracle is honestly one of my favorite kill streaks in this game because it gives you a sweeping ping of where everybody is at on the map, including silhouette outlines, even through walls every 10 seconds. So what can you do with this class? Well, like I said earlier, it is my favorite at the moment for a semi-conservative rushing type of class setup where I can rush in and get a little bit of kills, but also I can get those long range kills if I want to stick back. And even at long range, it's one of those guns where I feel like I don't even need a red dot sight. The iron sights are actually pretty good on this gun in my opinion. And it's something that is really highly contributing to the overall feel of the gun. I love this thing so much, and I'm probably going to be using it for a long time to come now. But before we close out today's episode, I really want to say that this gun is one of the most versatile that I have used in Call of Duty Ghosts, and that is one of the reasons why I love it. It is seriously great for going into close quarters. You can get the kills right up in your face one-on-one -on -one close quarters combat, but you can also hang back and get some long-range kills at the same time, and that's something that you don't really see too much in a gun in this game. It's mostly AR dominant in this game, and this is one of those ARs that I think you can use as both an SMG type of situation as well as an AR, and it's awesome to see that you can get both out of that. But that has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned next Friday for an all-new episode of Beast Classes. I'm going to bring you guys that every single Friday. It's going to be my weekly series here. I'm going to be bringing you guys some more weekly series here coming up in the coming weeks. But as for now, be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. And be sure to stay tuned tomorrow for an all-new Tips and Tricks video. Be sure to leave a like rating down below if you did enjoy. And always leave a comment because I love hearing what you guys have to say. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are greatly appreciated. Remember to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Ghost content because I have a ton of stuff that I'm going to be bringing you guys here in the next couple weeks and the duration of this game and I cannot wait to share it with you guys so be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay connected to me and not to miss an upload so thank you guys once again so much for watching my name is Vinny Espresso. take care and I hope you guys are having a great day peace